Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm at the Best Illusion of the Year contest website, and I'm looking at the 2009 first prize winner. Uh, this is an, an optical or visual illusion, and I'll put the link in the in the on the side of the video here, so you can go there because my uh, my screen capturing software for for this uh, for this computer is not fast enough. Or doesn't get in a high enough frame rate to give you the illusion, but I'm going to give you a basic idea of what I would like people to do and give me some feedback on. Um, there are three parameters here. The third one is the one I want you to focus on. So play around with the illusion, then uh, on actually go to the website on your own computer and don't rely on this video. This video will is too choppy to give you the the illusion. But go to the website and do this. Uh, the speed is negative 12 when you get there. That, that's the, the default uh, value for that parameter for speed. Um, when you look at it veridically, when you, when you look at it straight on, focally, the, the disk falls, as you can see, in a straight uh, vertical line. Right? It's, that's just, just like that. When you look over here at the, at the disk, the illusion is that when you look at, look at the disk and, you're, and, and you have the, the ball now in your peripheral vision, it appears to break about to a 20 degree angle. Now, what I would like you to do is to make this illusion even stronger and to make it a little weirder is to change the speed from negative 12 to 12, to negative 12 and back to 12. Oh, back and forth, just, just like you're seeing me do right now. See right here? You'll see I'm doing just like that. I'm just adding a, a hyphen that I hit, then I am hitting backspace with my index finger, and then I'm hitting the hyphen or the minus sign again with my middle finger and alternating that back and forth. And do that while you're looking at this disk right here. And go kind of one, two, one, two, one, two. And you'll see this the apparent motion, instead of just going in one direction, will actually alternate. And you'll find that there's actually an optimal sort of rhythm that you can get that will give you the greatest possible um, apparent motion. So first question is, why is the why when I look at the disk, does the ball give me this apparent motion? And why then also, when I when I go back and forth be, be, between this these two values, do I get uh, apparent motion back and forth as if the ball is rolling left and right, left and right? And third, why is there? I think this is the most important question. The most revealing question would be why why when I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth really fast, do I not get quite the illusion? But I can kind of feel it out between my with, between your hand, your hand uh, hitting the keys, you know, between the minus sign backspace, minus sign backspace. You between your hand alternating between the keys here and the the apparent motion in your peripheral vision of the of the disc going left, right, left, right. There is appears to be a kind of like an optimal rhythm that you can that you can get that will give you the most apparent motion. It will kind of give you the. It'll make the the disc break as far as it can to the left, and then as far as it can to the right, and then repeat back and forth. You'll find that rhythm really quickly. That sort of one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So try that out. Let me know if you can answer any of those three questions. Whether you can, I mean, you can use a common sense explanation. Uh, you can get creative and use whatever kind of explanation you want. Other kinds would be like a physiological. Uh, you know, or anatomical structure of the retina and brain sort of uh, explanation, or a phenomenological phenomenological description of what exactly is going on, or you can also try to to vary the uh, these parameters here and see if you can get some other cool effects. Uh, but just give me some feedback here. I think that that'd be fun for us on YouTube to try to figure out uh, exactly what's going on in this um, illusion. And again, I'll put a link to it on the side. Uh, all right, thanks a lot. Bye.